Hello and welcome back to Endless Space 2 with new patch notes. Update Game Update 3 has gone live, which is equated to 0.3.2. And in this shorter video, I'll be talking about the major changes that get introduced. Um, I will let for the major adaptations i'll let the video from the endless space guys themselves start to uh speak to you as i will maximize it and play it for you guys after that we'll be talking about the patch notes what parts i already know are important which parts i already noted down and that sort of thing uh the patch came out as of recording roughly 10 days ago so that should be a lot of fun uh, please note that the video you're about to see is the video made by the Endless Space 2 guys explaining the Riftborn update, which is the major faction that gets shown and played, which is also the faction that will be showcased this week on my channel. Endless Space 2 Early Access is still going strong. In this video, we'll cover the new content, features, and improvements introduced in Update 3. Let's start with our seventh major faction, the Riftborn. Hailing from an alternate dimension orthogonal to the Endless Universe, the Riftborn would have happily let out their abstract, timeless existence, entirely ignorant of galactic strife were it not for a breach that precipitated a disaster of unimaginable proportions. Like a poisoned blade slashed deep into clean flesh, the rift acted as a source of terrible disorder in their pristine geometrical universe. Desperate, unable to halt the disease's advance, no matter what they tried, the Riftborn took the last available course of action that might lead to their survival. Together with their strange time-shifting abilities, they stepped into the endless universe, sheathed in quasi-robotic forms. The Riftborn may be outsiders in an unfamiliar galaxy, but that does not mean they're arriving unprepared. In fact, their unique affinity, Continuum Sculptors, gives them power over the flow of time itself. With the ability to create various singularities that slow, hasten, or even stop time over entire star systems, the Riftborn possess a powerful ability in their quest for survival, one that may even secure supremacy. Riftborn ships are designed with a single purpose in mind, efficiency. As such, they are not bound by the laws of physics that other races of the endless universe must obey and the geometrical patterns and orbiting nodes of their ships echo their quasi-robotic forms. Their hulls can be equipped with a higher number of modules compared to other faction ships, but are a lot less versatile when it comes to loadout. Riftborn ships are so specialized that attack ships provide little defensive capacity, while support ships are almost bereft of weapons. If they are led by a smart admiral who can take advantage of their strengths, they can prove to be a formidable opponent for any fleet. Update 3 also includes two brand new minor factions, the Neris and the Bagaba. The Neris are a cephalopodic species who have risen from the oceans to claim the lands through industrial application. Faced with environmental destruction of their habitat, the Neris develop an ecological mindset and now look to the stars with hope. The Bagaba also hail from a watery world, but that is where the similarities with the Neris end. The Bagaba are creatures made of coral and the puppets of a vast alien supermind that arose naturally from the interplay of tides and rocks. Curious and peaceful, they are one of the most unusual life forms in the galaxy. Update 3 introduces many new features, content, and improvements. Multiplayer is now available for up to eight players, along with new galaxy types and size for you to battle over. Speaking of battles, ship design now provides more information. 
we've added a new tactical view and advanced battle reports will help you analyze your decisions. We've introduced several improvements to the Tech Tree's interface following community feedback, along with a rebalancing of the military quadrant for a better pacing. Generated galaxies should feel more alive with new curiosities, planet anomalies, planetary activity, and orbital traffic. But that's not all. Update 3 also introduces marketplace events, multiplayer quests, new minor faction ships, advanced diplomatic interactions, AI dialogues, and many GUI improvements. The early access, next and final update will include the Unfallen, a new major faction designed by the community, new minor factions, fighter and bomber ships, an improved AI, moding support, localization, tutorials, cutscenes, and much more. Sharing your ideas is easier than ever on the Games Together platform, thanks to our new ideas feature. So join now and help us craft the best strategy game we can. So yeah, uh, just an FYI for those people who are wondering, I will not be monetizing this video because I'm showing somebody else's video. It wouldn't be entirely fair. So yeah, the Riftborn update. It adds a crap ton of stuff, uh, including the Riftborn, my uh, major faction you already saw. Uh, so I'll not be going into much depth in that. You'll be seeing that in the next couple episodes, which is fun. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited by the large galaxy size, although I have no clue how that will perform or how will that impact gameplay performance. Because uh, with the amount of galaxy uh, empires we already have around turn 50, it's a bit iffy. Uh, I like that you can rename things now. Empire, player renaming, hero renaming, very nice, very good. Uh, more game settings are now visible, which are nice. And Galaxy Life Animation, so I think that means that the asteroid fields and that sort of thing, they're more animated. I don't know, kind of nice. Population growth control, pretty good. All population is linked to a luxury, which can be used to favor its growth within the Empire. Oh, that could be interesting. The election process has been done. Now the political parties that will not end in the Senate report their votes to the closest party, which they can change the winner at last minute. That is kind of interesting. Added natural wonders. No visuals yet. Oh, that's okay. Uh, narrative content. So chapter three and four are now part of the Horatio quests. Uh, and one and two of the Riftborn, obviously. Uh, they have added most of the tutorial. Eh. Expert tutorial, eh. six made minor faction quests, which are pretty good. Five population quests, so a lot more just actual content, which has added to the game, which is pretty damned good. Manpower and ground battle. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, manpower is now divided in three elements: manpower on empire, on system, and on ships. Pretty good because it, I think it was all one pool. Which, I don't know, sometimes confusing, sometimes not. Uh, umpire, blah, 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 start with a full stock of manpower on their empire. I wonder how that has changed the starting quest for one of the other uh, major factions. If they have a starting quest which has this option to emulate manpower. So I wonder how that has changed. Or if at all. I don't know. You have to accumulate more manpower. Oh, that's a thing. Uh, okay, so they added specific battleground strategy and space battle tactic for privateers and minor faction. Okay, so I guess they can now theoretically invade. Interesting. Uh, triggered a notification when manpower drops close to zero. Very good. The minor faction interface has been revamped, uh, and actually a lot of other things been revamped as well uh, added a new minor faction ideology pragmatists nice 
Um, more actions to improve relations with minor factions. Pretty good, because they feel a little bland now. Actions are now based on trend rather than the point value. Okay, good, good. Change thresholds as the bar follows. Neutral, cordial, amicable, friendly. Nice. Within the best relations with a minor faction, will now grant access to a special action for cost and luxury resources. Okay. Uh, pirates. Harmonize, harmonize, harmonized pirate ship designs. Of certain prowler designs. Buffed certain positron designs. Change the way pirates spawn to prevent unwanted pirate spam. Good, because there were actually sometimes just nine of them. Nine, which is a lot. Politics has changed. Uh, rebellion, now the government uh, after rebellion. Depends on the current government cycling through all of them. Not entirely sure how it goes. I've never had a rebellion. Uh, removed rebellion progress while in anarchy. Okay. Uh, added a experience systems, uh, added experience systems, what? Added a experience system for political parties, reaching certain experience levels unlocks new laws. Interesting. Added independent laws that can make always available. Nice. And free to maintain. Uh, refined laws content. They are, they are less but more powerful. Okay. And it costs a influence upkeep to be maintained. Ah, nice. Um, it did feel a little too easy. So it's, it's kind of nice that they've made that harder. Um, reinforce differences between each government. Democracy, no election actions to influence the result. But better diversity in Senate. And provide a approval boost on population. Public election actions using dust. And stronger alternative versions of the laws. Interesting. Federation bonuses on industry and expansion. Dictatorship. One party that you select. And higher chance of rebellion. Uh, okay. So they've refactored the UI of uh, ship design. Which, you know, could be useful. Like we saw in the video, new module icons. Which look very sexy, by the way. Uh, added detailed data about the ship, DPS per weapon, efficiency, DPS per range, defense absorption, energy, projectile balance, upgrade cost, etc. Also displayed in ship tooltip. Very nice. More information means you can make better ships more accustomed to what you want them to do. So that's kind of nice. Uh, added toggle to hide, show obsolete modules. Oh, thank you. No longer having to see level 1s when you're already level 4s. Oh, thanks. Added the possibility to drag and drop modules between slots. Oh, I didn't know you could actually not do that, but sure. Uh, Add a double click on any player's ship thumbnail to open the ship design. Nice, okay. Removed module symmetrical multiplayer cost. Weren't really affected by that. Harmona harmonized module multiplayer cost per ship. Not really affected by that either. Tweaked heavy mounted slot and add effect explanation tool tip. So it actually had an effect. Now, added a button in the military screen under uh, design frame. When click, upgrades all the modules to the, of the selected ship designed to the latest version. Does not replace or remove existing. Cool. Let's see the deck panel. Cards are now called tactics. Okay. You can open the card battle tactics. New deck panel even during combat or during battle. Nice. Added description in tactics. Still tip. Very good. Uh, ah, these are the uh, advanced battle things they were told. Okay. Improved trajectories. Stat display. Uh, ship hover feedback. Don't forget, you can always move them along flotillas. I, I know. Uh, added flotilla capability. Compatibility, sorry. Feedback of the ship when dragging it. Okay. And a command point required to unlock flotillas. Okay. 
that's weird. Uh, during battle, improved scan, edit overview, edit lock ship feedback, edit zoom with mouse wheel. Battle reports, edit advanced battle reports, first version. Damage gouges. Okay, battle systems, change crit damage if critical hit the self will diminish all defense absorptions oh so basically you're fucked right, fair added ship damage bonus when crew on board added theater effect added uh change the random generator give you the same result if you load a save thank you that was very open to abuse Content added 15 support modules. Cool. Modules that affect fleet and flotilla are exclusive to support ships. Support ships have a purpose! Fixed and increased several battle order effects. Increased flank effects. Nice. So they reworked the entire uh, military quadrant in the technology tree uh, to implement the new modules. Rework the science and exploration quadrant to implement support modules. Also added new modules for the arc and technologies to unlock them throughout the game. Thanks to Fujani now also get upgrades. Very good. Not that I needed upgrades because they were bloody powerful. I will not be going over everything of the AI changes. Uh, a lot of these things are good. Like they're now actually able to understand more. Uh, heroes. Oh, they couldn't assign heroes as admirals before. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Okay, they may now actually solve certain quests. That's good. Performance: a lot of memory and CPU optimizations. Thank you. Maybe we won't have such a slowdown on turn fifty now. Let's see, the user interface, diplomatic and negotiation screen have been reworked. The, the ship display, the ship design screen has been reworked. The new game screen has been redone. Yeah, I noticed that straight off the bat loading up the game. Uh, we worked the left banner in all menus. Polished diplomacy screen, very good. The man button now located on the diplomacy screen. Yes, HD GUI for any resolutions. The new scaling option improved, 4K, okay, interesting for the 4K players among you. Module icons are brand new, I, I know, they look sexy, very sexy. New display options are now available, very, very good, we'll be going through later. Some balancing issues, let's see, Horatio is now ecologic, intriguing, I like them more as Religious nuts, but sure. Uh, outpost buy curve, rework technology, cost curve. Alright, a lot of good things among them. Not all that very interesting, but... Yeah, cool. And there's a couple known issues. But that are... These are... That, those, these are the... Patch notes of this uh, a game update free. As I said in the video, there is one more coming for early access, after which I hope the game will launch uh, with one more major faction. There's still a couple factions I'm missing from Endless Space 1, which were kind of interesting. But maybe we'll get them later, who knows. Anyway, I thank you all for watching. Please look forward to another video today about the first episode of the new Riftborn uh, major civilization, which we'll be playing. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.